He has been. At the end, we couldn't make it, but that is their absence is not going to be any negative vibes. But we make all of us to be positive at this very moment. Consent to be the chief guest, and we are so happy and proud. Jindal Global University has been associated with us for last three years, and it is ranked number one private universities in India and the QS World Ranking in 2022. I think it is one of the universities in India ranked internationally. There are two individuals who connected as with Jindal Global University. Dr. Samrat Sinha and Dr. Ubasana. Let's also, as you welcome our chief guests, let's also put our hands to welcome all those two individuals who are present here. Let's please stand up and let them also see you. For the promises in the Jindal Global. Thank you. We are all ever ready to make himself available. Whenever we visit Nagaland Central University, Professor Lal will ensure all the guests who are traveling from Dimapur and Kohima and other parts of Nagaland ensure that he visits, he meets them and inquire about the colleges. Heads of Nagaland University who have been playing a vital role in making this dream a reality. So, in the name of university, we have Dr. Paradesi Lal, who is an academician, a person committed for values. As he was coming in, I asked, Sir, you have traveled a lot to this miserable road. But he said, Amdo, I made a commitment. Let's put our hands together to welcome Dr. Paradesi Lal, the Vice Chancellor of Nagaland University. Then we have another close associates, SSLD Institute of Diocese of Kohima, St. Joseph University. And we are so privileged to have the Vice Chancellor of St. Joseph University, Professor B.J. Nyanadure, a person who has been closely associated with the NISA from last three years. And we are also happy to have so many fathers together to welcome who were instrumental in making this peace movement a reality. Then our another close associate, one of our closest neighbors of Koima Diocese, that is to make things possible. I'm so happy to have Bishops closer and the Catholic Church and the Baptist Church and other denominations came closer and closer. We meet, we discuss, we share the issues as joint Christian Forum and Christian Forum Dimapur. And we are so happy and privileged to have Reverend Dr. K.O. in our midst. And let's put our hands together once again to welcome our dear guest. Reverend Dr. Kiro. We too have so many other guests. Before we move to other guests, I would like to remember Reverend, Most Reverend Thomas John, who gave permission, who recommended the, the, the letter to Italian Bishops Conference in order to get approval from the Italian Bishops Conference, recommended the, recommended the project of Peace Center and today that dream, that concept, a conceived idea has made a reality. We also remember Bishop, Archbishop Dominic who gave permission for us to start the nation in 2013. Uh, we also remember, the, along with the group of consultants of our diocese who make decisions, along with the Father 
uh, George Pononi, Father Chaco, Father Matthew Tulimbran, Father Carlos Nisano, and all others who played a vital role person or through traveled with me. This has to be. And he said, Ando, see my hand, our vice principal. I want to put him on the stage and go Korean. Please stand up, Father Bokro. Let them see you once. 26. With the man, this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. Yes, you see things and say why. But I dream of things that never were and say why not. Says to its birth in 2005. The Peace Channel at the Sacred Inception of Peace Channel at the Sacred College of Tripatur, Tamil Nadu, was the beginning. The establishment of Israel in 2014 was another hallmark of Peace Center. And lately, the inauguration and blessing of Peace Center on a fifth of August uh, 2022. It was a dream of Catholic Church in Nagaland and today it has become a reality again. The transformation from dream to reality was not an easy journey. It was difficult but it was an enriching experience for the people associated with the dream and also for the Peace and the family, both the Peace Channel and Nation. It is worthy to be mentioned here that this journey might not be, have been possible and successful without these names I had uttered for the record purpose. And as I conclude, I would like to say this dream of Nasser and Peace Center is a unique and it is going to be a unique institute in the days to come. In India we have 1043 universities and around 42,400 colleges. Should NASA should stand out in mainstreaming peace building and promoting skill through modern and traditional method of learning. You might have seen the Gizabu there. It's all our concept of developing traditional method of skilling of you in the modern perspective. So, the new education method, the new approaches of education should help us to equip our young, vibrant boys and girls of Nagaland and Northeast India and few from outside India should be competent to survive and to recalibrate and resonate themselves into a molded citizens for better India and nation building. Therefore, we are going to stress on skilling, we are going to stress on job oriented programs and we are going to stress on academic competencies. So we are very competent faculty members and we are dedicated students of 100 in the first batch and 50 in the second batch and BSW, though we started late, we have 26 students. Lastly, before I conclude, with the heart filled with the gratitude, I remember all our construction department and people who worked very hard. It is not a vote of thanks, but I would like to mention a few of them who worked very hard to make this event possible today. I remember Sir Vincent, who made the, who is architect of that gate and also the Gassab who is sponsored. We remember Mr. Jacob, he is the architect of very new model, a modern library. The concept has been implemented as it was directed. Then the construction, we had two engineers, Saroj is the main and Sudeep, then we also remember all other people who worked tirelessly in order to make this day great. Once again, with this happy note, let me conclude, be the change.
that we want to see in the world, says Gandhi. God bless, have a pleasant time ahead. After having heard very elaborately and listened to words of welcome for, from Father Anto, I shall not elaborate again the names once again, but I simply say, my dear friends, peace lovers, peace builders, brothers are the peers of conflict. The center would focus on enhancing capacities, attitudes and responses that, that would promote harmony and peace among individuals, families and communities to strategic, strategic inter interventions of education, research, dialogue, mediation and community action for peace. Specifically, the Peace Center shall try to generate knowledge through research, studies, workshop and documentation, to disseminate knowledge through publications, seminars, conferences, design courses and exchange programs, to, to building professional local capacities for peace through trainings, internships, professional courses, international collaborative programs and community-based works. To facilitate dialogue and mediation process in and out of the campus situation. To promote and support youth-led initiatives and movements for peace at local and international level. To provide space for great to get involved in national and international peace builders, conferences and exchange programs. To promote and support peace education, life skill education and adolescent education program in formal and non-formal and informal ways. To prepare generation of young professionals working for sustainable peace and developing the region. As you know, it is one of its unique kind in Nagaland and maybe in the country. It attempts to combine theory with the practice, research with the pragmatism, to create an enlightened, committed peace ambassadors and committed social workers who are fired with the zeal to transform and create a peaceful and hope-filled society in Nagaland, which must gradually spread for the parts of the country and the state. I must thank and is grateful to the people who have toiled hard to realize the dream of the church. Especially, I would like to remember with gratitude the Vice Chancellor and his colleagues, the members of the Academic Council of Nagaland University, officials of higher education, the government of Nagaland, for the great support you have rendered to us. Especially, I must mention for Reverend Dr. C. P. Mahanto, who along with other collaborators, not only conceptualized the idea and pursued it with passion, despite many obstacles and struggles, to realize it today concretely as you inaugurate, as we inaugurate this center. In short, the overall goal of the Peace Center is to establish an institutional facilities functioning as Peace Resource Center for social transformation. This is an important mission for one and for all in the region and in our state and in our locality. Therefore, the Peace Center belongs to all. Nurture it, support it, and make it unique in the world. Once again, thank you for your presence in this auspicious occasion. And may God bless you and all our endeavors to build a new society imbued the values of the gospel. God bless you all. that is aggravating with the passage of time. During big wars, sometimes in maybe 10, 12 areas of our region during over a, a three decades or so. And what we have is merely experience rather than theory. And this only in the inter-ethnic kind of conflict as we have been busy with, we have been trying to help. We do not say we succeeded, we helped. And what would be our learning? 
I would summarize in this way. We say, love your neighbor. I would begin with another phrase in preparation for loving. Know your neighbor. Not easy. Because many of our neighbors are different from us. Character-wise different. Culture-wise different. Perspective-wise different. So know, when you know someone else and his character, perfect it may not be, but at least I know his character. It may be within the family, within the context, one leader to another, who are in charge of conversation also, know a person's character. I may not agree with your character, but I, I need to respect the character. No respect, respect. When you know the character of the person, you say, at least I must respect. I may not agree, but I respect. And then comes also love in consequence. Love comes spontaneously when you know and you respect. You know, character, culture, another big reality in India. Uh, we are so different among ourselves. In some other places in the world, they consider it as very negative. Fortunately, in our country, we consider the diversity of culture as an asset, as a value, and something to be treasured. But you know, there is also a bridge to be built between my culture and my way of understanding and your way of understanding. It's a happy moment for me to, to be associated with this institution at this moment. It has been a dream being looked forward by every one of us, even people, their associates. Today's celebration will be written in golden letters in the annals of total commitment and there are dividends in the years to come. Be ready to serve conviction and commitment. The principle of this institution. Father, wish you all the best. We are with you and we continue to support you. Support you. The we would also like to request you to give us a short message. So please. Good morning everyone. I am really very happy to stand before you and to participate in this inaugural function of this Peace Centre. As I said on behalf of St. Joseph University, I would like to congratulate Father Anto for all the effort he took to establish this institution in a new campus. Congratulations Father. In this context, I would like to convey a small message to you all. Research in social science is a prime thing nowadays in education. We would also like to request you to give us a mentioning the names of uh, the people on the dais because if I do so at the end I would have a bleeding tongue. I bring greetings on behalf of the Nagaland Baptist Church Council and also the Nagaland Joint Christian Forum. To the leadership of the Catholic Mission under the Diocese of Kohima, headed by our honored Bishop Reverend Dr. James Topil. We have had a long working relationship for the common good of our people and to the glory of God. We request you to kindly share a short main pillar of this nature and peace center, Father Anto, and all the other fathers and other staffs who are working with them and the students. Respected most reverend bishops and archbishops and many other leaders here. I take this occasion as we mark the beginning of new chapter for nature. I would like to quote 
the words of Muhammad bin Rashid Al Mokhtam, who is the ruler, the prime minister, the vice president, the chairman of Dubai, the present Dubai. He says, the future is not something that we await to happen. But the future that we want should be designed, should be crafted, and should be executed. If you take the book of His Grace, Archbishop Thomas Marambun Pin, value must come alive. I think today, the celebration that we have today is most best befitting. In order to make the future, we talk about the peace. And that peace cannot be something that we await to happen. But that peace that we long for has to be designed, has to be crafted, and has to be executed. I think this center would do likewise. Today, as we talk about the Naga society and the society at large, the need of the R is not leaders, but the need of the R is leaders who would be able to articulate the inner happening of the society into reality. That is the leader that we need. Not just a leader, but a leader who would be able to articulate the happenings in the society. And I wish that this new chapter of nature and this peace center would be one of the centers to bring forth leader who would articulate into reality the inner happenings of the society especially among the Nagas. Today, if you really look at the Nagas, every one of us wanted to live in pieces and not in peace. If you really look at today, there are so many social organizations, churches, many civil societies, not in peace, but pieces. I think it's time that we need to really articulate those pieces and bring the real meaning translated of peace into our society. With this word, the Catholic Association of Nagaland stands with nature and peace center and we invoke God's blessing and the days to come abundantly. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir, for sharing with us your joy and for educating us. And Mr. Lee. Sir, we are greatly honored by your presence today. And I would like to request you to kindly give us a valuable message to our esteemed special invitees and guests coming over here for today's function. Before that, I would like to... <laughs> Sir, kindly give us a short message, please. NGOs, principals, teachers, Media persons, dear students and ladies and gentlemen, very good afternoon to all of you. At this, at the very outset, let me express my gratitude to Peace Channel and the Father Ancho, my esteemed colleague from NISSR, to come forward. His generosity to call me as a guest of honor to be a mystery on this auspicious day. Ladies and gentlemen, I take liberty on your behalf to congratulate the Peace Channel and Father C.P. Ancho. I do be to make a team continues traveling for a century, for a 
सिल्वर जुबली 1997 टू 2022 टू आर्किटेक्ट एंड मेक दिस पीस सेंटर टू जस्ट फादर आंचो यू आर यू चीफ डिजर्व्स हार्ट फेल्ड कंग्रेजुलेशंस लेडीज एंड जर्मन इन टुडे सिनारियो when the world is struggling with under the caption of a civilized society because to the first century has been year marked as a century of civilization and during this age of say century of civilization when we find that the entire world is having a madness to meet the requirement of the growing populations on front of food health good environment good air to breathe and i take the liberty to see the wisdom from my colleagues at and say in i ssr that in north east institute of social sciences and research to see that everything we do that must be a social relevant and i'm happy to see down the line that this peace center as a mission is trying to meet the requirement of two fronts on one front while they are making serious efforts to train the people to motivate them to come forward for conflict resolution and to make a peaceful society just the most important thing that in diva with they are venturing into is trying to raise an army of expertise army of spiritual leaders tomorrow the citizens were going to mind the responsibility and part of the society and then this particular peace center is going to have that it's the real for work with the feeling that those great people who had really been with him really an architect at this particular center father ancho i think it's a mission that's going to have its impact and diluted for ages for time to come man few few sentences i will i talk something about the academy something about the association and what exactly we are looking as the output that's it dear friends but before starting that i think uh, today we all have to express our sincere gratitude to his his beatitude tribal affairs nagaland to be your speaker in case you hadn't noticed that is not me so i am here representing the vice chancellor of obi jindo global university with my delegation consisting of uh, basana and samrat and adia who are part of this team that wants to give meaning to what you just heard about collaboration between obi jindo global university and this be centered but i'm not a stranger to the creation of these centers perhaps you wouldn't expect from the person uh who once again is not replacing the minister but the person who is representing the newly established school of public health and human development i'm not a stranger to the creation of these centers as a matter of fact when i started my career uh almost 50 years ago I was entrusted with moving forward on and I'm going to give you the full quotation of a uh, document adopted by the United Nations Educational Scientific and Cultural Organization UNESCO in 1947 uh, 1974 excuse me 
It is the recommendation concerning education for international understanding, cooperation, and peace, and related to human rights and fundamental freedoms. This declaration was an effort, and there are several other documents similarly designed to guide in the establishment of the ramparts of peace in the minds of all human beings, and that terminology comes directly from the Constitution of UNESCO of 1945, which says that the ramparts of peace must be built in the minds of every man, woman, and child. And that's what I understand this center to be all about, to be contributing to, contrib to establishing the ramparts of peace in the minds of all human beings. And in this region, the needs and demands, and I say this after having observed the creation of similar peace centers across the world, the creation of this peace center is very special because this very special needs in the Northeast region here. It is indeed a region that has known conflict, that continues to know conflict, but is struggling to find the way towards peace. And in doing so, it is addressing the special needs of indigenous peoples. And I attach a great deal of importance to indigenous peoples and the implementation of the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples. I happen to be quite proud of being a member of the board of an international organization promoting the rights of indigenous peoples called Cultural Survival. And I find that the establishment of a peace center among groups that identify as indigenous peoples adds not only an enriching feature to making this peace center successful in the region where it exists, but also by demonstrating to the world what we have known for generations and failed to implement, and that is that indigenous knowledge would have saved us from the climate catastrophe that we are facing today. So that a peace center that draws upon the wisdom and respect for the rights of indigenous peoples is also a center that can be a leader in introducing peace and responses to the climate catastrophe that we are facing. So that I see uh, the building of the ramparts of peace along the lines that I alluded to that we have attempted to do for generations and have failed. Who would have thought back there in 1974 when we were adopting this recommendation of education for international understanding, cooperation, and peace, who would have thought that in 2022 we would have to address the core principle of peace in the United Nations, namely the respect for the territory of integrity and political sovereignty of, member, of sovereign members of the United Nations, of all member states? Who would have thought that we would have to address the decline of adherence to human rights and fundamental freedoms among leadership of certain countries that have sought to consolidate personal power rather than give power to the people to establish and consolidate peace. That is the challenge that lies ahead in transforming the ideals of the establishment of this center, the ideals establishing the ramparts of peace in the minds of all men, men women, and children established in 1946 by the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization. Uh, Father, can you please tell us, uh, hi, uh, can you please give us a highlight about today's program? Yeah, this was a blessing and uh, inauguration of a long cherished dream of, a Catholic, of the Catholic Church that is to establish a peace center which is a regional importance and also the state importance. And uh, that dream of the Catholic Church has come to reality today on 5th August 2022. It, the main purpose of the Peace Center is to um, combine the education with the peace building, mainstream peace building, so that our youth of uh, Nagaland and the region will be equipped in peace building and non-violent uh, promoters of the society. Uh, then second aspect is uh, to bring a professional 
institute in the state as well as in the region. So we will be focusing on professional studies. We started with the BSW graduate program in social work, the BSW and MSW. And the next year, we are planning to start a graduate program in uh, counseling and psychology and postgraduate program in counseling and psychology, along with journalism, which is very important. Our youth are very competent, very outgoing, hardworking, and I'm sure uh, this is uh, going to fetch a job for our youth in Nagaland and the region, where they can, they have very good communication skill and uh, they are able to shine better in the media. So, uh, thirdly, we'll be, we may go for a B.Ed. Uh, in the next year, if everything goes well. So, this NACER, Northeast Institute of Social Sciences and Research, will be known as a professional institute under Nagaland University and also will be catering to job placement, 100% job placement. That is our dream. As of now, we have very good result and very good placement and uh, we are looking for the best and the bright students uh, coming to our institute and uh, helping them. Addition to that, we are starting a, a first time in the region, and region uh, the civil service training from class 8 onwards. Um, uh, that is in collaboration with the other institute in uh, Delhi and which is outstanding in the country where they have proved themselves with the 40% uh, that's what they told. 40% uh, people who are trained were employed under civil services. So these are the few attractions, few important things that the Catholic Church is going to envisage in the days to come and make more and more professionals rather than uh, uh, unskilled uh, youth uh, who will be unemployed even after graduation and post-graduation. And another most important thing that uh, along with this graduation and post-graduation courses, we have these uh, gazaboos uh, that is uh, primarily to primarily to impart skill development uh, programs of, for the youth. As our Murungs uh, in the traditional concept, that Murungs were uh, imparting uh, uh, skill development for the young men. And the same idea, traditional and uh, modern, which is academics, will be blended together in order to help the youth to master their skills. So every individual who comes here, they are given an evaluation. Then every semester, uh, the improvement of that skill is evaluated. As a result, after three years of graduation or after two years of uh, post-graduation, they should be prepared to take up uh, responsibilities. They are supposed to create a job rather than uh, working under some organization. That is the PPC professional progressive circle that is the purpose for which we have created these gazaboos we call it the, uh, uh, what is called the in traditional institution of uh, Morong uh, these are the few things that we are working on and uh, developing our young boys and girls to be the state builder a nation builder in the days to come thank you NLTV thank you for coming and covering uh, this whole program and we look forward to seeing you in the days to come. Wish you all the best. You are budding journals in the days to come. You have uh, great potentiality is to grow higher and higher. Thank you and wish you all the best. And we come and learn and have a dialogue and develop their skills in peace building. This will be the contribution that the church, Catholic Church will be doing to the state and the region in the days to come. Thank you and God. Motion, Top JEE and Meet Coaching Institute of Kota is now in Dimapur. Faculty study materials and test series from Kota directly. Now students from Nagaland can raise their preparation level right here in Dimapur. Admissions open now.